a, a regional conflict at the very least. It's very clear based on Hamas's goals that um, they've wanted to ignite a regional war ever since the uh, Abraham Accords have kind of put an end to the idea of a regional war against Israel. The other thing that is most concerning is that if you look around the world, you'll see that there are protests that are pro-terror protests, pro-Hamas protests, pro-rape, torture, pro-indiscriminate killing of men, women, and children in the streets of Israel. Um, and to me, that actually worries me greatly for the global Jewish community around the world, especially in North America. So I don't think we're looking at a short conflict here. I think, um, I think we're looking at something that could turn into a multi-front war for Israel and possibly become regional. Across to Avi Melamed, a Middle East a geopolitical intelligence analyst. Avi Melamed, uh, the big question at this point of time is that uh, how does uh, uh, Israel propose to deal with the situation? Are we looking at only airstrikes? Are ground operations also a possibility in the given situation? Yes, thank you for having me. Yes, I think that we are looking at a massive Israeli move, including massive ground operation. Israel basically seems like determined to change totally the ground rules in Gaza Strip. Israeli Minister of Defense says we are going to change reality in Gaza Strip for the next 50 years. Israel is going to uh, apparently to uh, strike massively Hamas. And basically the objective seems to be like Israel is going to severely cripple, if not totally eliminate Hamas and Islamic Jihad military capacities, that is going to be a massive Israeli military operation. Hmm. Colonel uh, Rodan Itzig is with us. He's a former commander of the Reserve Armored uh, Brigade and also author of the book, The Man in the Tank. Uh, Colonel uh, Rodan, if I can ask you, you know, at this point of time, are we looking at just a conflict to stay limited between Israel and Gaza? Or is there a possibility that this could spread to the other borders of Israel, for instance, the northern border as well? Well, as you see, what you are witnessing is not just a military conflict. This is a crime against humanity because those murderers uh, were not targeting military bases and not soldiers. They uh, targeted civils, uh, human beings, uh, children, women, and also old women, and uh, they took them uh, in capture. So. We don't have any option uh, possible and just get into Gaza Strip and uh, bring our security back. The other thing is what happened uh, geostrategically around Israel, uh, supported from uh, Iran, that uh, in the last 20 years uh, are recruiting militias of Shiites, soldiers uh, in Lebanon, in Syria, in Yemen, and also in Gaza, jihadistic fighters uh, at the style of uh, what we know as ISIS, with the same uh, doctrinary uh, operation like ISIS did. So we have a challenge around all our borders, and this is a great challenge, and uh, it is very uh, great thing to see that you are all with us. But uh, you have to know, <clears throat> the Israel Defense Forces depend uh, ultimately on reserve soldiers. Our all our reserves uh, soldiers were recruited in the last 36 hours. We are uh, deploying around all our borders and we are waiting <clears throat> if uh, something will happen. If uh, there will be an attack on our northern border, there will be another uh, scenario here because the northern border is uh, much huge in uh, the security threat than the, north the southern border. We have all uh, our uh, forces on the ground, our air force uh, attacks, and it is uh, in a security level, a very high security level to all our fronts. And also, and also, and this is a very huge thing, a great assistance from the United States of America when they ship to us an aircraft carrier, one of the best in the world, and they are uh, here in the area. But the main problem, Right. The main problem that we have is uh, the uh, Iranic uh, ideology, mm. murderous uh, terrorist arms groups mm. and uh, militias. This is not an Israeli conflict. This is right. a regional conflict. Right. This is the situation. 